what we're doing today is we're going to drill and tap a hole for a temperature sending unit. So we can put a temperature gauge on this motor. So this is a 1950 motor. The tractor itself is a 1948. So this is the newer style with the side distributor. So on this 1950 block, this head, they have this flat cast in part of the head. Now on the original 1948 block, it does not have that. You can see. So um, I don't really think you could tap one of these heads, but this one we can. So since we've got that option, we're going to go ahead and tap it and put a uh, sending unit in it. So from reading online, they were saying measure down a quarter inch, which we did. I measured down a quarter inch and I put a mark. Then they said take a penny, line the penny up with your mark, and then center the penny, and then the center of the penny, you'll drill your hole. But what I did uh, to me seems easier is I found a washer that was the same size as a penny. So I will center that washer up and then fill in the center with my marker and so then I've got the center and uh, then I'll punch it I'll drill a pilot hole and then we'll drill our larger hole I think it's a 7 16 for our quarter inch tap uh, pipe thread tap so let me uh, get that marked and punched and the pilot hole drilled. So we now have a hole in our head. And next step, instead of picked up a quarter inch pipe thread tap. And it came with this is a seven sixteenth, yeah, seven sixteenth bit. So we'll drill that out. Like I said, I marked the center. I centered that washer quarter inch down. Then use my center punch. Punched it and drilled it. I don't know what size this was. Fairly small bit. And now we just need to drill that larger hole and we can tap it. Use some cutting fluid and we'll use that for tapping as well. So let's uh, get this bigger hole drilled and then we'll tap it. So here we go. Got the hole drilled and now we've got a perfect hole. Um, we've got a lot of material that's really thick there. It's probably half inch thick or more right there. Um, maybe even more, maybe like three quarters of an inch thick. It's really thick and it's, um, it's centered really well between the top and the bottom of the uh, whatever cavity you want to, this water jacket cavity right here in the head. Um, we're not, you know, right on the bottom, we're not right on the top. We're right in a good spot. So now all we need to do is tap it. So let me uh, finish unpackaging this and we will tap it. All right, there it is, tapped. So, got that done. Now, I'm not going to put the temperature gauge in and the sending unit in until we get the dash on. So, uh, we'll continue on with getting the rest of this thing started or together. But uh, we now have a spot for a temp gauge. So, thanks for watching. 
All right, so we've got our temperature sensor installed. Um, it came with a quarter inch to three eighths adapter. I've got uh, Teflon tape on both ends, the one that goes into the block and the one that goes into the adapter. And these are both snugged up. And then, I, of course, I need to route my gauge wire, but I'm going to wait to do that probably till I get the hood on it because I'll route some of it up under the hood and uh, we'll figure out you know the best way to route it once we can do that. It's still pretty open you know where we can run stuff when the hood's on it so it shouldn't be an issue. And then I've got it running over here where the amp meter would have been originally and I actually ended up using a gauge that I had so here it is see I've been running it. Engine still at temperature. Uh, I've got a thermostat in it now so it will uh, you know it won't stay pegged at cold anymore. Well I don't know what it stayed at before but it didn't have a thermostat in it so it probably wouldn't have come up off of cold too often. So it's got a 160 degree thermostat, so it should run right around 160, a little below or a little above. That's about right. Um, so I drilled a hole right here for my voltmeter. Like I said, in one of the other videos, I think I showed y'all that I replaced the amp meter with a voltmeter when I went to 12 volts. So that's that. Um, Yes, I know I drilled a hole in the dash, but it's not a perfect dash or anything like that, so uh, I don't mind doing that. It's a functional tractor, not a restoration. And that's the hole over there for the proof meter, which I have, but I don't think it's any good. But I'll, I'll put it back in there to uh, just cover the hole up. So that's it for the temperature gauge install. Fairly easy. Uh, just make sure you once you get that drilled out, um, just be real careful and uh, you know don't over tighten these fittings. They are brass. And route, don't kink your uh, tube here because uh, it can break or it can uh, cause it to not work. So. We'll have to route that and take up some slack. We'll probably kind of coil it up here near the gauge. So, anyway, thanks for watching.